Hey everyone, it's Benjamin here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple but effective fitness poster inside of Canva. So if you're ready, open Canva and let's do this together. So before we get into the nitty gritties of everything we are going to be doing, I just want to encourage you not to leave this video at any point in time because this video is fully loaded just for you. So let's open Canva and let's start designing. Alright, so this is the design we are going to be making. You can see it's actually a very simple design. So all I'm just going to do is to click on the plus icon over here to add a new page. And after I do that, you know, it's just something very easy. The background should be the same color which is white okay and then what we are going to do is come into photos first of all and you can just use any gym image so you can simply you know search for gym right here but i just want to use this photo so i just click on it and i increase the size of it you understand or simply right click choose set image as background and this is what we have at the moment okay so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be adding this gentleman over here and to be able to get the same image all you have to do is to search for young african american bodybuilder training over gray background i know this is long but sometimes you know to be able to find the best images in canva you need to actually type a whole sentence okay so after we have him i just increase the size of him and uh, you know i just want him to look a bit bigger in my design and i can't use the image like this because this wouldn't actually serve the purpose so i would just have to come to edit image in edit it may choose bg remover so while canva is removing the background image of the image we have selected <laughs> i know this is funny i want to use the opportunity to tell you about canva pro so just in case you're looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing background images resizing your designs to any dimension at all with a click you know having multiple brand kits on your same canva account publishing directly from canva to any social media platform and when it comes to having more animation options canva pro is the best option for you so i want you to be able to use this so i have a link in the description box below that can help you to use canva pro for free so what are you waiting for test out the link in the description box below and the other thing i want to talk about is the template i have created for you these are 20 easy to edit templates i have actually made for you and i want you to be able to use it so that you can save a lot of time so the link is also in the description box below let's dive back into canva to continue with our design all right so we can all see that you know the background of our image has been removed and it's actually looking very beautiful so i click on apply and all i just have to do now is to wait for canva to save my design so now that canva has fully saved our design what we are going to do next is to select this image and i'll just reduce it a little bit so that we can have some area over here for our copy okay so after you do that just come into element and search for circle so c-i-r-c-l-e circle and um, there should be a lot of options over here for you but we are simply going to look for an outline circle like this okay so you can just select it and you can see how it's looking and just increase the size to something bigger like this so you can see how this is actually looking okay so i will position it here and um, just to center it okay so we have it centered like this the next thing we are going to do is to press c on my keyboard for circle and i would also increase the size to maybe something like this is cool select both circles okay holding shift and you know clicking the two circles okay to select them together and i would um have them look looking like this all right okay so if you're not comfortable with this you know you can always take your time and look through to you're able to find you know a thicker outline circle but for the sake of this video i'm just going to stick with this so i would right click on this one and send it to the back okay so this is how it's going to look and um you know maybe select or reduce it just a little bit and increase you know this gentleman here i think yeah he should come or what i can simply do is to crop you know the gentleman position him here and uh, you know just to make him you know visible in this design so you can see what we have over here or basically maybe let me just copy and paste okay because it's actually the same guy i'm actually using okay so this is something you should be having the outline circle should go to the back and um, leaving you know the actual circle in front okay so that's how the whole thing should look okay so now this is what we are going to do press r on your keyboard okay for a shape and um, just do this you know it should cover you know at least the whole of this part and you know increase it this way then we will just come to transparency okay and then reduce the transparency to somewhere like 70 which should be fine right click and send it to the back 
back so this is what we have at the moment duplicate it by pressing ctrl d okay so select ctrl d and um, you know i'll just position it here then i would reduce you know it all the way to somewhere here like this okay so because you know canva doesn't give us the flexibility to create custom shapes we just have to be able to create something on our own so i right click and send it to the back so that it looks like this shape is just at the background you know leaving this part um uncovered you know and um, that makes the whole thing looks interesting duplicate it again and you can see how it's looking at the moment so i'll just crop this send it to the top right click and send it to the back select all of them press ctrl g to group them okay then after we have all of this what we are going to do is to customize the color of these circles so i press this come to colors and i'll choose the purple color which is a60 a92 okay then i will select the one behind and choose the same for it so you can see how interesting this is already looking so the next part of this tutorial is me just going to add my text to give this whole design you know a meaning because we can't just design this and just leave it like that so let's dive into canva and let's complete the design by adding our copy okay so what we are simply going to do is to press t on our keyboard for text and canva should be able to add some text to your design okay so i position it here increase the size a little bit come into you know the font section or the typeface section and search for hansen bold okay so once you have hansen bold you can actually say anything at all you want but i want to just say action okay Okay, so action then i would increase the size and um you know position this one somewhere here like this okay and maybe decrease it okay so this looks fine but you can simply choose any typeface at all of your choice you can see how this is looking it's the same hansen i used so i duplicate it move it to the top over here and i can just say take okay and i would move it all the way here so that it's easy for us to consume okay then let me just zoom in a little bit okay then i will position this to the bottom and send it to the back so that it goes behind his head okay so this is what we have at the moment and um the next thing we are just supposed to do is to come you know we're already in element so just close this up make sure to find line and shapes okay then click on c or then all you have to do is to scroll down a little bit and search for a parallelogram um you know shape so this is a parallelogram so i just hope you haven't forgotten all the lessons you were taught about shapes when you were in high school or elementary school or primary school or whatsoever just don't forget them because they are always useful in your life okay so we we'll just move this over here okay and we are just going to customize it to make it look very interesting okay so i just do this and you know drag it all the way here then we can add any custom text at all you know of our choice so in my case i'm just coming here to choose this shape over here not this shape this text paste it over here okay and um you can see this is actually very simple to do and i hope you are just finding this so easy so i'm using um the canvas sans okay over here and i just made it italic so that you know it gives us these action or um, fitness feel okay then let me just duplicate the second one you know together it's the same shape but i just changed colors okay so i just duplicate it no let me position it here so take action all right then what we are going to do is select your um, image come to edit image in edit image look for adjust and reduce the blurriness to negative nine to make our image sharper and um, i think with the vibrance increase the vibrance of your image okay just to boost the colors you know um slightly okay okay so now what we just have to do is to add certain key information over here so you can see what i actually did here and i'm just going to actually copy everything so this is actually something simple you can do so i will position it here and um you know just to speed up the whole part of me adding the text so this is the important part sometimes when you are creating fitness designs like this it's always nice to add you know some additional shapes or some elements just to improve the whole look of your design so let me show you some of the things you can actually add 
okay so simply come into element again and just search for dots okay so when you search for dots you just see so many of them and um, usually you can just add any type you want okay but you just have to be creative about how you are going to add this so you can see in my case i'll just add this over here increase it a little bit and change the color all the way to white i can duplicate it move it you know maybe somewhere here and i can just you know rotate it this way you know, position it here and i can change the color um to purple okay then i can duplicate it again you know basically i can just spread them across so depending on how you want to use it but there's one thing you just need to have in mind make sure you don't overuse this element because at the end of the day if you do that it's going to make your design look so busy so keep that in mind and make sure you are always you know minimal when you are adding these elements okay so after you do that um i think maybe this on this issue so i can just delete it because i want my design to actually look very simple you can see we've been able to do every single thing inside of canvas okay so this is what we've been able to do so far and i hope you're able to find some new tips and tricks on designing interesting things inside of canvas before you leave if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit on the like button and also smash on the subscribe button if you are new because i'd love to see you again in my next video the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video